Ahoy! This is Palico Padge and welcome back to more of the Forsaken Isle. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a while. I, uh, yeah, I've, I was, um, I got a little bit bored of it, just going down and, and looking at all the, the different levels of the of the caves and not really finding a lot the inspiration wasn't there but i did promise you guys another crafting uh, crafting <laughs> another crafting episode and uh, as it turns out recently i've been getting that itch again to come back and have a look and uh Spoodles has been looking at doing little updates which are uh, nothing major just 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 little increments so i thought it'd be a good time to revisit this and uh, we can go for a the food uh, items that I'd like to do. This title for the episode is going to be Cooking with Patch because we're going to do all the all the different bits of cooking we haven't really gone into. We've picked up the natural stuff we found lying around like the, well, as you can see we, we've got the nice garden down here and uh, that's that's coming on rather smart, swimmingly. Oh, Terry's still here, Terry the tortoise. And uh, yeah we've, we've, we've been picking berries and cooking berries and getting a little bit of hunger back that way but we've never really gone into the the deep sort of crafting for foods so I thought we'd do that in this episode and then depending on how it runs on time we could look at maybe going down into the the next level of the dungeons and just seeing if there's anything new down there I have already made the stairs and opened up because I was in solid rock when I got down there opened up uh, a way into the caves just with a few torches but I haven't actually explored anything so uh, that's something we can go and have a look at if we're running a little bit short on time so anyway we need a kitchen now this one has uh, been uh, a difficult one for me to do now there is a wiki on this game and uh, sometimes it's spot on with the crafting recipes sometimes well let's just say it's not the kitchen has been one of those and uh, I've been looking around and I've found uh, a few different variants and I, I have had a look and found which I think is the right one. I'm hoping that is the right one so uh, we can we can build that first. But before we do that, I thought I'd just go through, although it was a long time ago, I thought we would just go through what I actually picked up on the last level of the dungeon we were in when I did the last episode. Nothing too fancy, nothing too exciting, but I did find more Azurite ore I found a luminous glow shroom, which is equipment supposedly, so I thought we could replace that with the uh, band of light, which is only 6 light compared to the 10 light off the glow shroom. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, it works. Cool. And I also found a mushroom chest, which is, I think, the biggest chest we've come across so far. But as it turns out, it's all nice and neat. That's the wrong chest. There we go. We'll put it next to the brown ones. Uh, we'll get rid of those when we go over to the equipment rack later. Let's just get rid of the Azerite ore. We are building up a nice a nice uh, collection of that now. Although uh, we will need a lot more if we want to start making armour in that. But we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. We, we are cracking on with the cooking. So before we make anything too fancy, what we need is a kitchen. That is the last major crafting table we don't currently own. So we should probably crack on with that first. Now, as you can see, I have gone to the liberty of taking out all the ingredients I am going to need for this episode. Have a look. If you want to follow it along, you will need this too. This is just the bare minimum to show you a sample of each of the items you'll be able to craft. By all means, get more. In fact, I encourage you, get as much as everything as you can. It's the only way you're going to make it easy for you in this game. But first things first, and as I said, we need to make a kitchen. And that is made up of three items, two of which we've never done before. The first one being the rolling pin. Now, if my notes suit me <laughs> suit me right, all we need is one plank of wood and the lathe, which is this thing up here. So a plank of wood plus lathe equals, yes, a rolling pin. Very nice. And the next thing we need in order to make the kitchen is a cleaver. And that's a little bit more complicated. You will need a refined stick, just the one mind, and one iron ingot, which we have come across a lot in our travels. And there we go, there is the cleaver. Cool. And then to finish it off and to make the kitchen, we need to combine said rolling pin and cleaver with some logs. And I think I'll do that on the crafting table. Now this is the part I'm not sure of, because I haven't got up to this point. Uh, so bear with me, he sort of winces as he does it, just to see if it's going to work, or this crafting recipe is wrong too. Hey, there we go. Kitchen allows crafting of advanced foods. Nice, nice. Now, as you can see, I have moved the fire pit from its usual area, dead in the centre of the room, which is good and bad. It's good because it means I can put the kitchen just around here, but it's bad because it means it doesn't light up the entire room anymore. So, boo to that but anyway we have the kitchen let's uh 
let's uh, let's get rid of that. We don't need that silly gold sword. And then the kitchen can pop. Oh, <gasps> that wasn't very good. Let's try that again. Uh, there we go, pressing the wrong button. We'll ignore that, it's been a while, it's been a while. So there we go, we now have every, as far as I'm aware, every possible crafting table we could have in the game. So uh, you, we're fully decked out, this is it. It doesn't get any better than this. This is the equivalent of owning every possible thing in The Sims. We are up to the max. Awesome. So, with that in mind, uh, we will now make the first simple thing we can do, which, to be honest with you, we did have all the bits to do anyway, but I thought, let's make the last crafting table. It's been sitting there for a while, in, in the back of my head, I thought, let's just get on with it. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. So, we need to make some bread. Now, you don't just make bread with wheat like you would do in Minecraft. No, this is hardcore. No, no, no easy way here. No free rides, son. No free rides. First, we need to make some flour. In order to make the flour, we need to use some of this beautiful wheat we have here. Uh, and uh, we need to put that onto the mill, which is this, oh, if I'm not in the way of the kitchen, which is this little thing down here. So let's pop that on. Now, you only need two wheat to make one flour, but, oh, what's that? Animal feed can be used to fill troughs. Ooh, maybe Terry's getting hungry. We'll look at that another day. So uh, we need, in order to make everything that I want to make in this one, uh, a few of these we need six all together so we're going to create the six flour and pop those into there which is very nice and then with the flour i believe you just pop it into the crafting and you make dough straight off you don't need to be near any tables in order to do that so again we can do that all the way up three of those cool cool now bread very simple all you do is you go over to your oven which is this one up here you pop in the dough and you get a bread for one dough and as you can see it replenishes 20 hunger compared to our open pineapples which is eight and i think our cherries are, are about 10 so it's double what you'd usually get for your goods basically which is awesome and thankfully wheat grows pretty quickly so you'll never be without that for long so there we go very nice we'll keep that for the end and as you can see the next thing we were going to do is the rolled dough now i believe you do this on the kitchen but because we're so close to the kitchen from where we are yeah it, it sort of picks up on on the range anyway so as you can see you need one dough for one rolled dough which is not too shabby not too shabby at all so uh, let's let's do that again in fact i might have misclicked on this we might not need the extra bit of dough we'll keep it we'll keep it we might make some more bread we'll put it down the bottom for the time being so we have our rolled dough so we've got the base of the pizza now, what is the other major ingredient of pizza? You've got it. Tomato puree. Mmm, nice. So, we need to get the tomatoes, which I, again, I believe is three tomatoes to make one tomato puree, at the kitchen. Very nice. And there we go. So we have the rolled dough and the tomato puree next to each other. And then all we need to do is go back up to the oven and use the rolled dough and the tomato puree and boom, we have four pizza slices. Because quarters. Because quarters, that's it. Apes? Who does apes? That, apes are child's portions. We eat stuff by the quarter. That's how we do things. So there we go. So we've covered the bread and we've covered the pizza. Now that is as far as I think you can go with the dough. Saying that, if we look at that, that means you are getting, if you, just by putting the tomatoes in off the, off the single portions, you are getting... 40 hunger out of the one dough and, and the, and the uh, which is what? Two, so two wheat and three tomatoes make you four slices, uh, slices of pizza, which is 40 hunger. Or you can use two dough and get 20 hunger. So four dough would be 40 hunger and you save on the tomato. So there's, there's different ways around this. There's different ways around it, but that, that's fine. That's fine. So those are the two mainstays of the uh, wheat that we'll be using. Now, the only other interesting thing you can make is stew. And again, we're not talking Minecraft here. This isn't just throw a couple of mushrooms in a bowl and you're done. That's mushroom water. If, if you've stewed it for a while, maybe cream of mushroom. But that's the very tops of things. You know, if you added a bit of you know, like tortoise milk or something. You know, if you if you want to milk a tortoise, I wouldn't suggest it, but you know, needs must and all that. 
So, <laughs> yeah, stew. It's, it's a little bit more complicated. Not too much, but we are going to need one important item before we start putting the ingredients in, and that is a bowl. And in order to make a bowl, you pop yourself back up to your lathe, and you need uh, my wooden log, which I've used up already. You need one more log. Yoink! One of those, thank you very much, Lee. And that will hopefully make a bowl. Oh, or two bowls. Two bowls is good. I will happily have two bowls. Now, to make this stew, you have all the ingredients if you have a garden. What you need is some raw meat, which you'll get off the piggies. You need a carrot and you need a bowl. Now, as it turns out, we actually have two bowls. So, should we make, should we make two lots of stews and get some more meat? Why not? Let's have a little quick look. So, I think I've got plenty of meat. Well, well I say plenty of meat. I have one extra meat. So, we'll have two of those and we'll have another carrot. And this is all done in the cooking cauldron. Again, I'm only aware of the cooking cauldron being used for this one item as it stands right now. If that's different, or if you know any different, let me know and I'll be sure to amend that. But as, you, as you can see, ooh, we can have cooked meat. We're gonna do that in a second. And the carrots, and there we go. Lovely, lovely stew. So it requires one wooden bowl, one carrot, one raw meat. Because we have two bowls and I don't like it, having stuff left over we'll make the two we'll pop those up there as well and then can we make the dough from where we are we can make the rolled dough uh, let's uh, move over to the oven and see if we can uh, there we go make another bread why not why the hell not and that's it really that that is as far as the complicated stuff is concerned now there are other, other items i'd like to make you aware of as far as stuff you can cook to benefit you from just eating it raw. Some of these things will be detrimental to yourself if you try and eat it raw, just keep that in mind. But for, for the sake of making an oven, which was fairly simple, you can see that on an older episode, it's worth cooking everything. At the very least, it means you'll get more energy out of it from what you would do eating it raw. Just something to keep in mind. So what else can we do? Well, the common things, the things which wouldn't surprise you when you're let's get by the, by the cooking stove, is um, the fish which will make cooked angel fish. So as you can see, uh, we go from it just being a resource to replenishing eight hunger. So we're sort of teetering on the same sort of output you get off the uh, the pineapples from slicing them open. Uh, we have the raw chicken, which again, replenishes six hunger, but you do get poisoned off that until you cook it. When you cook it, it basically doubles the hunger output. So it's gonna replace 12 of your hunger bars, which again is a, a nice step up. We then have your raw meat. Again, if you eat it raw, it's going to be uh, detrimental to yourself. You don't want to be eating no raw meat, unless it's sushi. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe you should be able to eat the angelfish raw. Or maybe if you could use the angelfish or any fish on the kitchen with, say, a tomato, you could make some sushi. That'd be pretty cool. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> so you take the raw meat, you pop that onto the oven, and that makes it into cooked meat, which as you can see is more than doubling the output for the 14 hunger. And obviously you don't get the poison debuff as well. So 14 hunger, well worth doing, well worth doing. Now these are the two things which I was like, oh, okay, fair enough, didn't realize you'd be able to do this. And again, considering how many you come across in the later levels, uh, it's, it's, it's worth noting as well. The raw spider meat, which only replenishes five hunger and obviously messes you up for 15 seconds. So over a 15 second period, whatever you replenish in hunger, you're gonna lose in health, which is uh, not good unless you're fully decked out like I am. As soon as you cook that, you get spider meat, which you can hunger. And as you can see, that is a hell of a step up. So it's 15 hunger from 5 hunger. And obviously, you don't get the poison debuff. So uh, that's definitely worth doing. And again, we've got plenty of that going around. But this was a surprising one. Bat wings. It's a resource. Now, I knew it was used in the chemistry tables and making potions. Didn't realise you could cook them. But you can. Cooked battering. And that goes from zero... And, uh, resources as far as energy is concerned to six which again is a, a step up and as it turns out we're swimming in those so awesome it's another way of eating there we go and that is basically all the food that we can do now out of curiosity the pizza replenishes 10 hunger so let's replace that seems we're at a solid uh, meat icon at the moment let's just eat the one and see how much that replenishes. So, 10 hunger is a full meat icon bar thingy until you lose half. 
<laughs> I'm guessing that's just the, the amount of time we've been playing. So um, let's eat all those. Why not? I'm going to hold these back. Um, they may come in useful. They may come in useful. Um, I might just... How much is the stew worth? 25 hunger. Ooh. So, hmm. I think as far as ease of application is concerned, again, it depends on how lucky you guys are in finding the individual ingredients you'll need to make these things. But really, bread is, is the way to go. Everything else is just uh, uh, time consuming, considering what you get off it. It might be worth knocking some up, like the more complicated ones, knocking the actual hunger replenished up a bit. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm not the developer. I'm just a suggestion, just a suggestion. So yes, that is the hunger sorted. Uh, let's go and drop the bits off to the equipment drawer just to free up some more spaces and go and have a little five minute peek downstairs on the bottom one. Uh, that is my fishing gear. So no, where are my rings? There are my rings. So we'll pop that into there. Um, are we going to be meleeing? Or should we stick with robbing, hunting, range damage, defense one, defense two, defense six, movement speed? No, I think we'll scrap. Well, I say scrap that. We'll keep that there. Uh, we'll move all the food out of the way, and we'll see that as we go. I think that's good enough. So, right, let's count how many layers down we're going now. We must be getting close to this dungeon that I keep getting teased about. So, layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four, layer five, layer six, layer seven. So, we're, we're on the seventh layer down now. And as you can see, I've, I've lit up a little way, but this is as far as I've gone. Ah, easy. Ah, good to see you again. Die. Die. There we go. Uh, actually, that light is awesome now. Ooh, it's a, a Coke-flavoured blob. They're not still too quick, so nothing to worry about for the time being. And they do drop the decent resin we need. So let's start popping some lights around the uh, the surrounding area. We might get a little lucky and uh, find... Ooh, what's this? Find something new. Uh, I guess I'll have to have a little scrapey-scrape. Oh, Azerite. So we've got Azerite, that's fine. We shall take more of that. We'll probably make some Azerite armour in the next episode. Just to upgrade all our stuff, seeing as we keep moving further on down would make sense but I'm hoping again that we now we're down onto this next layer that we're going to find something uh, new or, or ooh, he says uh, what's this what's this it's purple I like purple cursed ore okay well it's a big vein um it's uh, a little bit harder than the Azerite to hit. Mine. I presume this will be the next step up from the Azerite. But we shall... Uh, well, again, I'll do a little bit of research on the next one and we'll check that out in the next episode. Hey, I'm looking for a dungeon. I'm looking for a, sp oh, a spider's nest. Just anything. Anything interesting. Oh, more Azerite down there. Hello. Let's me melee you. Oh, my sword's bigger than your sword. Ha. Right, so... We, we, we are... I do get the feeling we're being funneled down here. There's some gold at the top. There's a skeleton coming for me in that direction. Let's go down. See if we can find that Azerite. Oh, yoink. It's quite a bit here, actually. So, yeah, we should be able to upgrade all our bits in the next episode pretty easy. I just don't really want to be collecting anything uh, I don't need, which is pretty much everything but. <laughs> but there you go. Nice. So, uh, more gold. Forgot about the torches. Uh, I think it was around here. Is that an empty space? That's... Um, Gold? Well, I suppose you can never have enough gold, really. It's a. Uh... Ooh, whoopsie. I 
I don't know why I worry so much about avoiding getting hit by them. They don't tend to hit hard, and uh, we do all right. We do. Oh, it's a dead end anyway. Right, let's uh, eat that. Uh, it's probably worth just actually cutting through from here, isn't it? Rather than uh, trying to find all the way around. Oopsie. Uh, let's just move those up a little. I need to swap quickly back to my uh, torches. Yeah, it definitely takes more hits than the, the gold does. be interesting if you can make a cursed sword. If you'd have any sort of debuffs as standard on it. But it, it does seem to be uh, a hell of a lot of it down here, considering we've only just come down. Maybe maybe I've just been lucky. Again, this is the sort of thing you can't really judge when it comes to uh, procedurally generated games. You've just got to go with what you're given and when you're given it. So, yoink, that is that done. What else have we got? So, further one down... Yeah, I don't really want to be laying too many torches down and... Oh, hello, boy. It's been a while since I've seen you. We can eat you, you know. Yeah, we can eat you. Here we go. Right, so. Oh, more as of right. There seems to be a, a lake over there. Oh. Actually, this, this isn't a bad level. It, there seems to be an awful lot of stuff for me to mine. So I'm going to be busy off camera. But yeah, we can definitely... Look at upgrade and everything next time. I think the next episode I might even look at um, doing some of the uh, of the potions. Uh, not that I don't think I'm, I'm going to need them, at least until we get to uh, any sort of boss we might come across. And it looks like there might be some more there too. Yep. But uh, again, I. It's just, um, it's finding things to do in this game. It get, um, it, it's a fun game to play when uh, you're not recording because it's, it's, oh, oh it's gold. Um, it's uh, easy to come across the stuff, but, um, and uh, just get on. It's not like you've got to make conversation. We're like, oh, bastard, bastard. Trick shots, trick shots. Nice. Oopsie. Alright, so we'll crack on around. We'll see if we can make a easy, a full loop of it. Ow. I'm hoping it'll lead us back to uh, where I came in. Uh, oh. Ever further south. Uh, so we've got a bit of water. A bit more as I right. I don't. Oh, yeah. More cursed door. I don't think I'm going to find anything majorly exciting around here. So I think I might just end the episode here. I can uh, pick it up down here if I do come across anything vaguely interesting on my travels. Get away. Thank you. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll leave this for the time being. I've got plenty of food to have a search around. So I don't have to worry about that. I will just wedge myself in the corner though. So uh, yeah, so... This episode, what have we done? We've made a rolling pin, a cleaver. We figured out how to make a kitchen. Finally, thank God. We've made flour with the mill. We've made bread with the flour. We've done rolled dough. We've made tomato puree. We've done a pizza. We've made stew with wooden bowls, and we've cut. We've we've cut cut. We've cooked and eaten bat wings. Boom! Bear grills. Eat your heart out. So we haven't had a bad way of things as far as uh, crafting is concerned uh, as i said i'm not looking at doing these you know once a week or e or even you know like uh, twice a week or anything like that these will just come as and when the feeling takes me until a big update comes out and we can uh, venture further on in but as i said in my off time i will go about collecting all this ore that we've come across on this level and i will go about uh, accumulating it all and putting it into bars and then we'll look at making some armor at the start of the next episode as well as maybe the uh, uh, the potions we'll I'll have, a, I'll have a look into the potions and see what we can do there so as always thank you for watching a like is always appreciated and i'll catch you on the next one gar mihearty take it easy